Nobody wins when the family feels But my staff uh, What's up, what's up, what's happening, man? It's BG, a.k.a. B Jizzle Your number one original high boy All my supporters, all rap supporters To get behind And Try to stop what's going on with BG these people trying to lock BG up for rapping, bro. Say he put an album out with Gucci. Say he's not supposed to put music out. Say he did a concert with me. What's going on, world? So look, I got a video this morning, uh, very disturbing, uh, of BG. You know what I'm saying? Um, and his situation that he had going on where the feds had locked him up. For, uh, doing music videos and uh, having affiliation with me, um, Lil Boosie and Gucci Mane. Of course, Gucci Mane ain't no more, ain't no, no more probation. And I think Lil Boosie on a federal bond. I don't know. I'm on federal probation. And um, my PO ain't even called me. In my town are checking in, man. Y'all know I don't never check in. I don't never tap in because I ain't never got nothing to say. But man, today I just want to say. Y'all keep my dog in y'all prayers, man. Keep Jesus in y'all prayers, brother. People be going through the rain. Fam, I want us to have a real debate on this video. Fam, what's considered being free these days? What's considered paying debt to society if you do a crime? How long should an offender be on probation after spending more than a decade in jail for a non-violent crime? These are serious questions that we really need to shine more light on because more and more it's loopholes for people that look just like me that end up a statistic in a negative way, dead or in jail. And the real reason I'm bringing all this up before we even really talk about the story as all of it come together is because we tend to look over these things until it affect us or someone we know or better yet someone we love recently a new orleans rapper has spoke up after recently being reincarcerated after allegedly violating his probation like i say a loophole we'll later talk about how he had probation for the state that he lived but allegedly he didn't for the state he got arrested in but once again how do I get reincarcerated for a non-violent offense after serving 12 years in jail? I'm not robbing. I'm not killing. I'm not stealing. I'm not smoking. And I'm not doing illegal substances that can get me back in jail. I am an influencer. I am a rapper. I am an entertainer. I supposed to be broke or just to society as a person that make just enough to get back. That's where we at here, family, honestly. So in this video, we're gonna shine a light on who this rapper is, speak on his alleged allegations, see what's next, and try to spread awareness on not for just his story, but for anybody else that's going through a similar situation. So before we go over this one, remember, I don't give you no angle, I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, we're gonna jump right to it. If you're a hip hop fan since the 90s, nine times out of 10, you know a Christopher Dorsey, AKA BG. Born in New Orleans, came up under the Hot Boy group, now one of his own. He recently was released in prison after being incarcerated since 2009 and 2023. Now, as we mentioned at the very beginning of this video, BG found himself rearrested and a lot of people spoke up which we'll later listen to, who's powerful in the hip hop game as well. But I wanna give you a brief rundown on who BG is, where he's from, some of his accomplishments, how he got out on probation in 2023 and see his terms and how they was allegedly violated. In 1992, BG had signed the Cash Money Records. In 2012, BG was sentenced to 14 years in prison on a gun witness tampering charge. He was 31 years old at the time. And at that point, he was signed to Atlantic Records in 2009 known for his classic album, Too Hood to be Hollywood. In 2009, the Eastern New Orleans was a victim of a traffic stop. That traffic stop would lead him to more than a decade in jail. BG had pled guilty to being a felon in possession of a firearm, but then they had hit him later with an obstruction charge after two associates had falsely claimed ownership of the firearm. BG had confessed to the crime, but prosecutors made it clear that he was not cooperating. Stand in the line with the quote, no snitch, philosophy often wrapped in his songs. The district attorney even played some of his music in court. I ain't telling he raps, quote unquote, from the district attorney. I won't snitch, never tell. If the law come and get me, I'm gonna sit my ass in jail. They actually rap those lyrics while I ask court appearance. BG was arrested with the guy who go by the name of Demondi Polar. 
was just 20 years old, and another man named Jaron Fetterson, 30 years old. Police found three firearms. Two of the firearms had been reported stolen, and the car itself was reported stolen from a rental car parking lot. So just to be clear, they was allegedly driving in a hot vehicle with hot firearms. BG like he say, too hood to be Hollywood. But here's how he really got sentenced. The state case had ended up turning federal because he was a convicted felon. Both Pollard and Fetterson, the other two people who was with BG, had pled guilty to paving the way for the charges against BG. His plea agreement came with just 30 months in jail. Fetterson, who had an extensive rap sheet, he ended up getting 20 years in jail. Prosecutors at that time had linked BG to one of the most powerful drug gangs in New Orleans. And according to New Orleans police, two high profile, Telly Hankin and Walter Porter. And according to BG old court appearance, the prosecutor had informed the judge that BG had linked them in his music as well. Telly Hankin serving a life sentence right now for a body. He was public enemy number one by local police and prosecutors who had alleged that he ran a sprawling drug empire whose markets were enforced with violence. He is currently awaiting trial for another murder, but Porter is currently in jail as well, killing the brother of a witness in a killing perpetrated by Telly Hankton. The videos of BGs came much debated in the courtroom. As you can imagine, a heavy topic, using his lyrics for his freedom. But at that time, prosecutors were seeking 25 years in jail, which is the real reason BG accepted the plea for 14 years, having a date and walking it down one by one while staying solid. And in March of 2023, BG came home to a New Orleans own Birdman outside the jail. Check it out. And when BG came home, it seemed like he would pick up that momentum as he was dropping remixes to all hot songs in 2023 leading up to the early 2024. Dropping clips from inside vehicles outside his residence while on probation with the ankle monitor. He even dropped a joint project with Atlanta's own rap star Gucci Man. They dropped a joint mixtape called Choppers and Bricks. It was perceived okay. But in Super Bowl weekend in February of 2024, BG came out to his fans on Instagram and posted this video in regards to him performing with Boosie in Las Vegas. But keep in mind, this is where BG reside. Not New Orleans, but now in Las Vegas. And he also had permission to do so. And the whole thing is this. Boosie is allegedly, I don't know his situation, but on federal probation. And they trying to use that against them in this instance. But check out this video. Uh, what's up, what's up, what's happening, man? It's BG, a.k.a. B. Jizzle, your number one original hot boy. And February 8th, I'm making my first appearance at Club Wet, baby. I'm back outside. And guess what? I'm back with my dog again. You already know it's going down. All the hot boys, all the hot girls, man. Y'all show up, cause we definitely gonna show out Las Vegas, Nevada. It's a movie, February 8th. Now this was the flyer. As you can see, they didn't think no of it. Now also that was brought to BG attention was the mixtape that he did with Gucci Man. But Gucci Man is not on probation, but Gucci Man is a convicted felon, which is possibly why they saying he violated his parole. And another person came out was Finesse Two Time and spoke on how he believed and he was told that the music video that he did with BG as well, was brought up on why he violated probation. Check it out. What's going on, world? So look, I got a video this morning, uh, very disturbing, uh, of BG, you know what I'm saying? Um, and his situation that he had going on where the feds had locked him up for uh, doing music videos and uh, having affiliation with me, um, Lil Boosie and Gucci Mane. Of course, Gucci Mane ain't no more, ain't no, no more probation. And I think Lil Boots on a federal bond. I don't know. I'm on federal probation. And um, my PO ain't even called me. They ain't even said nothing to me. Um, he let me know that it was out, it came from out of New Orleans. It ain't even out of Vegas where he at. And um, that um, he wanted my take on it. He wanted me to use my voice to be able to speak out on it. And um, I just want to use my voice to say this. Um, man, the government is down to bring the black man down the whole government system um i think they make like 1500 to 2500 a day off that i just got seven lawsuits for clubs and i ain't gonna speak on the facts and the situation in the cases but um inside of my files on these lawsuits guess what they got they got my old charges 
of 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 allegations of me shooting up the club, allegations of me shooting up people or cars and shit like that when that has nothing to do with the lawsuit. But that's the government for you. That's the white man for you. You see what I'm saying? And that, and that's all where I'm going with it. I'm just going with it where people can understand, like, God damn, why would you put this in there? Like, why would you put old mug shots, old charges of me on a lawsuit that just happened to strengthen the case, to make me, to paint a picture of me to be a monster when that was 10 years, 15 years ago, and I didn't grow. I got a 13 year old, I got kids. Now last but not least, someone who spoke up was the person he performed with, Boosie, who's also close to New Orleans, but from Louisiana. And he also was going through his own thing and he still spoke up on behalf of BG. Check it out. Hey, I'ma need all my supporters, all rap supporters to get behind and Try to stop what's going on with BG. These people trying to lock BG up for rapping, bro. Say he put an album out with Gucci. Say he's not supposed to put music out. Say he did a concert with me that he was allowed to do by his Vegas officer, bro. Like this is, they trying to lock this man up for rapping, bro. Say he can't put music out on Spotify app. This got to stop, bro. We need to fight for our people, bro. This man has passed every drug test, community service. Bro, wrong is wrong. Bro. You can't be self-employed and put out music. This, is, this man been doing this since 13 years old. He is an artist. He's not somebody who... Trying to be a rapper. Like, you know, I got to speak up for this, bro, because you finna trying to lock somebody up for rapping for his job. Saying he can't put out music. Saying that he going to get locked up if he do another video rapping in the car. Like, bro. I don't know what's going on in New Orleans courtroom, bro, but wrong is wrong, bro. You 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 can't do this, bro. This Now, BG went to Facebook and said the following in the last 48 hours. It's crazy how after paying my debts to society with 12 and a half years of my life, I come home and still ain't free. I've been doing everything the right way. And it seems like that ain't enough. I've been going through it behind the scenes and got a muzzle on for the time being. But I'm confident I'll come out on top. I always do. I really appreciate y'all for staying down. RNS 100. He also wrote this. It's never been easy being Jeezy, but I'm real. So I make it look that way. I always thrive under pressure and fight harder when my back Back against the wall. I came too far to give up or lay down. The real gonna keep riding with me and my haters gonna keep hating on me. I'm here for it all. 100, 100. Hashtag comeback kid. Hashtag RNS. Hashtag I appreciate you. Hashtag the support is real. Hashtag I'm just trying to live my life. Now, as you can see, fam, a tough situation for BG. Honestly, he arrested for rapping after serving more than a decade in jail for a non-violent offense. And then you say this, fam. March 20th would have been one year anniversary. A green light from the probation where he's living how is it a problem in another state is that on us citizens when it comes to the criminal justice department and it's tough because sometimes man that one decision can get you through that loophole and it's hard to bounce back a lot of people don't have as much support as bg and if they wanted 25 years and he only did 12 i pray he overcome this wish no jail on no man but beyond that a man who came home just to do his job is getting thrown back in the system his kids, his family, his fans, his loved ones now have to go through all this again. Y'all let me know how you guys feel about this one. This was the story of a New Orleans rapper who just can't seem to stay away from the Justice Department. Talk to me in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until then, I'll catch you guys on the next one.